Hey everyone, welcome to Search Pulse. Today we are diving into something surprising and incredibly efficient that's changing the way we think about electric trains, regenerative braking. Now I know what you are thinking, braking? Isn't that just slowing down? Well, hold tight because things are about to get electrifying. So what exactly is regenerative braking? Simply put, it's a technology that allows electric trains to recover energy while they break. When the train slows down, instead of wasting energy as heat in the mechanical brakes, the traction induction motor reverses its function. Rather than consuming electricity, it generates it. This energy is then fed back into the catenary system or stored in the locomotive battery system for future use. Let's break it down a bit. First, we have the traction induction motor, which drives the train forward. When the driver applies the brake, the electric power that normally flows into the motor gets reversed. This causes the motor to act like a generator. This generated energy then flows back to the train's energy storage system or the catenary wire, where it can be used to power other trains or systems. Now let's try to understand the engineering by learning more about the four quadrant operation of the traction motor during regenerative braking and how the converter system behaves in all those four quadrant operation. When the electric locomotive starts moving in the forward direction, the torque applied is positive and the rotation of the rotor shaft is also positive, which is the motoring mode. This is when the motor is operating in the first quadrant. During this condition, the three-phase inverter of the propulsion system provides power to the electric motor to propel forward. This is forward motoring mode. When the electric locomotive needs to slow down or stop, there are two forms of braking, dynamic electric braking and classic friction braking. In order to slow down the train, the electric braking will be used and to bring the train to a complete halt, the classic pneumatic brakes will be deployed. When the regenerative braking is used to decelerate the train, input power supply is stopped by turning off the inverters. At that instant, there is enough momentum in the train to continue to move forward. In terms of rotor of the motor, the torque is negative since the train is decelerating, but the rotation is positive. In this situation, the rotor flux speed is greater than the stator flux speed, which is the generating mode. This is when the motor is operating in the second quadrant. In this situation, the thyristor or the IGBTs in the inverters are turned on a sequence that they operate like a rectifier circuit. This is regenerative braking mode. When the electric locomotive needs to move in the reverse direction, the torque applied is negative and the rotation of the rotor shaft is also negative. This is also motoring, but in the reverse direction. This is when the motor is operating in the third quadrant. During this condition, the three phase inverter of the propulsion system will have one of the phases energized later than other two phases, thus changing the sequence of the three phase supply and thus achieving the reverse torque. This is reverse motoring mode. Please note that this method cannot be applied when the traction motor is in forward motoring mode. First, the train must come to a complete halt and then the reverse motoring can be deployed. The operation in the fourth quadrant is similar to the one in the second quadrant, that is regenerative braking, but deployed for reverse motoring. Here again, the inverter in the propulsion system shall be controlled in a manner that the regenerative braking is deployed and the locomotive slows down. This is reverse regenerative braking mode. So today we got some fair understanding about regenerative braking in electric trains. It's a brilliant example of how technology can make transportation more efficient. If you have found this interesting and want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe since more than 90% of the viewers of this channel are not yet subscribed. So please subscribe, but don't miss to hit the like button and drop a comment below on what technology you want to learn about next. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.